Why is your dog always licking his or her paws? And there are three primary reasons why. I'm going to show you what's going on and more importantly, what you can do about it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. There are three primary reasons why your dog is licking her paws. You've got a dog that's got an allergy. Dogs that have allergies, they love to lick their paws. I especially find it common on the front of the paws. They're excessively licking the top of the paw. And it'll often, if you've got a white haired dog, fortunately it was dark, you can't tell, get stained all dark. It could be a food allergy, it could be a flea allergy, most likely is atopy or environmental allergy. If you've got an allergic dog excessively licking his or her paws, the first thing I suggest to quickly stop that licking and the itching is herbal tincture, licorice root. Licorice root is considered the natural corticosteroid, meaning it can often stop the licking quite quickly. We're looking at standard dog doses of about a half a mil of the tincture for 20 pounds of body weight twice daily for a maximum of 10 to 14 days. There is a half a mil of licorice root tincture. Number two, a condition called pododermatitis. It means inflammation infection in between the foot pads. So the area between the foot pads is, can be red, inflamed and swollen. I've trimmed some hair in between Tula's foot pad and you can see the redness in here. Uh, right up, right here above our little carpal pad. Right below between a couple of the digit pads. It's red, it's a bit inflamed. That would partly explain why she's doing some of that licking. If your dog has pododermatitis, it could be from bacteria that are growing in between the surface of the skin. It could be from yeast that are growing in between the surface of the digits. It may even be just primary inflammation. It could be your dog's been walking outside, they got salt. You've got this red inflamed area of the pads. Regardless of the underlying cause, I want you to consider this natural antibacterial, anti-yeast, anti-inflammatory soak. Start with one cup of this guy, nettle leaf or green tea. One cup of the nettle tea. Coconut oil. I've warmed it up on the stove. We're adding in two tablespoons. Mmm, yummy Tula. Apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar, it's a great antifungal and antibacterial. We're adding in two tablespoons of that, Tula. Then last but not least, the lavender essential oil. It is antibacterial, antifungal, as well as having antihistamine qualities to stop the itching. That is 10 drops. Lavender essential oil, 10 drops. You can then soak your dog's inflamed foot in this concoction. Do that two to three times a day, ideally for about five minutes, for seven to 10 days. What do you think, Tula? Lastly, these guys can get a type of cyst called an, called an interdigital cyst. So what that means is they'll actually get a small lump or a cyst growing in between the digits. So typically, say right in between these two digits, you'd see this lump or swelling. Almost looks like a little abscess, a small cyst that's infected with bacteria. So with an interdigital cyst, there are bacteria that are growing in between the foot pads causing that cyst. And it's filled with things such as staph. Most of the dogs are gonna need some type of antibiotic. If you wanted to consider a natural antibacterial, what would I have you look at? This guy, olive leaf extract. Olive leaf comes from the leaf of the olive tree. We've all had olives. Olives grow on trees, the trees have leaves. They can extract important nutrients from that leaf itself. And many holistic veterinarians consider it the most important natural antibacterial. If you're gonna to try to treat your dog using this uh, olive leaf for a dog that had interdigital cyst, you'd be looking at doses of about one to two milligrams per pound per day. These are 500 milligram capsules. Tula weighs 20 pounds. You get about half a capsule a day. 
I'd be more inclined to give her a full capsule a day. You don't have to break out open the capsules. Doing that for 10 to 14 days and I would expect after a week to a week and a half, you should see a result. I wanted to show you the capsules so you can see. Hmm. There's a capsule there. It's a moderate size. Obviously it's this powder, much easier to give if you're just gonna keep it as a capsule formation instead of breaking it open. And if your dog has an interdigital cyst, I'd also suggest that you're soaking it twice daily as well, either with an antiseptic flush like chlorhexidine, it could be black tea, or you could actually consider using uh, the remedy we just discussed earlier for pododermatitis. We're using nettle or green tea, you're using the coconut oil, you're using apple cider vinegar, as well as the lavender oil. So for those of you who have dogs that are constantly licking their paws, I hope you have a better understanding as why your dog is probably licking his paws all the time. Then more importantly, what you can do about it. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of why your dog is licking his or her paws and what you can do about it. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.